friends welcome to my workplace at ranaghat west bengal india a new idea crept into my mind few days back it is a new technique to divide nuclei of soft cataracts with the help of chopper and 27g hydrocannula i'm going to narrate two cases in this video by this time after the initial steps hydro dissection is being done at this moment and now visco that is 2% spmc is injected into the anterior chamber now i take chopper in my left hand and 27g hydrocannula in my right hand and here it goes the hydrocannula goes through the nucleus the chopper comes from the opposite equator towards the hydrocannula both meet at the central area and by lateral separation by opposite forces the nucleus is divided into two halves now i introduce the tip of the fecu handpiece bevel down remove some cortical matter now i turn the tip towards the right side and the right hemineucleus tumbles and comes to the tip now i turn the tip towards the other hemineucleus and it is removed in no time now this is the epineucleus we must be very cautious at this time very minimal vacuum should be used the foot control should be like that and the epineucleus is removed and now after cortical clean up with bimanual irrigation aspiration and by polishing the posterior capsule a foldable intraocular lens is implanted in the capsular bag and now this is the second case capsulorexis is being done at this moment this nucleus is not as soft as the previous one nuclear sclerosis in this case is grade 2 or grade 2 plus let us see if we can chop this nucleus with the hydrocannula itself and now visco is injected 2% aspmc the chopper is taken in the left hand it goes chopper goes first and now both the instruments come towards each other and by lateral forces the nucleus is divided into two halves come out inject some more visco and now the tip of the fecu handpiece is introduced into the anterior chamber the tip goes bevel down some cortical lens matter is removed now the tip turns to the right side and the hemineucleus floats and then the tip is managed in such a way that fallibility increases and the hemineucleus is conquered this is the other hemineucleus it is also removed in no time why should we try different techniques because if we increase our experiences 
our confidence level increases and we become a better citizen day by day. Now after a cortical cleanup by bimanual irrigation aspiration and posterior capsular polishing a uh, hydrophobic acrylic intraocular lens has been implanted in this case thank you very much for your attention hope this video will inspire you to try different techniques within your threshold of safety thank you once again